I'm David Comstock. I'm on the board of Friends of Badger Mountain. We're here at the Benton County Candy Mountain Preserve. We're going to talk about the interpretive loop here in the saddle of Candy Mountain. Uh, we feature Ice Age floods history as well as native plants, the local geology, and some Hanford history. So let's go check it out. My name is Bruce Bjornstead and I'm a retired geologist. Uh, I've been working with Friends of Badger for several years, um, identifying some of the geologic features in this area. One of the principal geologic features are what we see right here. This is an ice rafted erratic. An erratic is a type of rock that doesn't belong. This is a foreign rock that was rafted in on an iceberg during Ice Age floods, the last of which occurred about 14,000 years ago. This is an erratic of granite. A granitic rock lying here doesn't belong. The, the closest place we see granite rock like this is up uh, in the upper end of Grand Coulee, at least 80 miles away. So this, the only way for this to have gotten here was to have been rafted in on an iceberg during one of the Ice Age Missoula floods. And this rock actually formed, crystallized out of a magma chamber. So this, is, this rock here is much older than the uh, native rock, which is all Columbia River salt. My name's George Last. I'm a retired geologist. Uh, spent my whole life uh, exploring the geology around here. I'm kneeling next to uh, an exposure of our local bedrock, which is uh, uh, made up of the Columbia River basalt um, group. Uh, this is the one of the uppermost or youngest basalt uh, flows, and it's uh, a, made up of the Ice Harbor Martindale formation or flow, and it's uh, dated at about eight and a half million years old. Uh, this basalt, Columbia River basalt volcanism started about 17 million years ago and ended roughly around six million years ago, and this is one of the youngest ones. This uh, particular um, basalt erupted from linear fissures in southeastern Washington, most notably one near Ice Harbor Dam, only about 30 miles away. It's been dated at about eight and a half million years, um, and it's a, a volcanic rock. It's very fine-grained. It's an extrusive igneous rock, came out as lava and cooled quickly. Um, so you'll see that this is very, uh, common, uh, commonly found throughout eastern Washington. It's just the, one of the youngest of the Columbia River basalt uh, flows. In contrast, this granite boulder, which is probably 100 to 150 million years old, probably came from far north, perhaps northern Grand Coulee area, the Columbia River basin up by Spokane, or maybe even as far away as British Columbia, hundreds of miles away. Here we have a very large ice raft at erratic of granite. This happens to be the largest erratic that we see in this area, this goose gap area between Candy Mountain and Badger Mountain. There's a, there's a high pass where the flood waters coming down from the north were passing, going south into Badger Canyon. Those flood waters carried icebergs with the flood water through this gap, some of those icebergs grounded against the, the, the pass that we're in right now uh, and forced these granite erratics and other erratics to be isolated along the, the ridge line. So this, this happens to be an isolated erratic, which is one of three types of erratics that we see in this area. We see erratics forming as individual boulders like this. And we also see erratics clustering together, a groups of erratics, probably from the same iceberg that brought the, uh, the, the, the erratics in. So in some cases we have isolated erratics, sometimes we have cluster, clusters of erratics from bigger icebergs, and sometimes we have a third type called berg mounds, which are very large, groupings of erratics that actually form a topographic dome or, or a high point with erratic debris inside. 
We don't see berg mounds right here, but we do see individual erratics and occasionally some clusters of erratics in this area. Here, the water was more free flowing and probably kept the icebergs moving through uh, Goose Gap to create and, and deposit these erratics that we see here. These erratics come in all shapes and sizes. And all, often, a lot of them are rounded like this. This one is, is fairly rounded. That usually is a sign of uh, erosion, wearing down of, uh, by water. But a lot of ice rafted erratics like this are, are rounded. Many are also angular and uh, with sharp edges. But this probably inherited its roundness from when it was in the glacier, from where it, where it originated in uh, northern Washington, northern Idaho, or British Columbia. And not all erratics are this big. This is a fairly good sized one. It's in the top 5% of the erratics that I measured on Rattlesnake Mountain. Only 5% of the erratics there are bigger than this one. So this is a fairly big size. The biggest ones we see are, are super big, and we'll see that later when we get to uh, over to Little Badger. We'll see one of the biggest erratics anywhere in the Pasco Basin.